Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the copy profile feature in Unattend XML to customize the Windows 8 start screen as part of your deployment process. My name is Johan and I will be your host for the next 10 minutes. If you have any questions from this session feel free to contact me using this information. In the demo I will walk you through these four steps everything from customizing the reference image to actually add it in and deploy it. To customize a reference image I of course need to have one and I'm using MDT to build and capture a reference image. Let's start the build process and in the meantime I will show you how my sequence is configured for my reference image. And due to the magic of video recording I'm able to cut away the time-consuming pieces of the build and capture process. I'm starting a virtual machine. You should always use a virtual machine for your reference images. I don't care if it's Hyper-V or VMware, but any of those works just great. This one is configured to boot on my MDT boot image, so when I start the VM it will automatically connect to my deployment share and present me with a list of my sequences. While this one is booting, let me go to my deployment server open up Workbench. This is my Windows 8 sequence. If I open the sequence you can see I'm installing .NET Framework, I'm installing a few runtimes and in the sequence I have added a suspend action. That's an action that allows me to do some customizations when the sequence is reaching this point in the process. So this is where I will start to customize the start screen of Windows 8. Let's go back to the client. The client is booted. I will select my Windows 8 sequence that I showed you. I will hit next and I will hit next again. Now the sequence will apply the WIM file, install the applications and the runtimes that I had and then suspend the task sequence. If I go to the Users folder, you can see I have a single user at this point. I'm actually logged on as administrator and that's how MDT does its builds. And this is critical because for Copy Profile to work, you need to have only one user in the reference image. So I will do some customizations to this. Let's say grab a background image. I know it's not Christmas yet, but at least we can get the spirit. Alright, beautiful. Let's customize the star screen a bit. I'm pinning notepad. I'm pinning like shot paint. I'm pinning the command prompt. And then I will zoom out. And I will move these over here. I will name this um, my stuff. I will name this uh, window stuff. And I'll name this other stuff. Nothing special, but at least I have done a, um, a few customizations to the start screen. Since this is a virtual machine, of course at this point I can do snapshot. Before resume. And then I will continue the sequence and the sequence will now complete the installation. It will run sysprep, it will capture the WIM file and store it on the server. After the capture is complete, the virtual machine is automatically turned off. 
The reason it turns off is that I configured my deployment share to do that. Let me show you. As you can see, I added the finish action shutdown. This means that on my captures folder, in my build lab, I now have my reference image. Now it's time to add that to my production deployment chair. Operating system, Windows 8, right click and import. It's a custom image. And I simply browse and select the WIM file I created earlier. I also copy the setup files. I may want to add additional components that it's outside the image. So I specify a source folder where I have my Windows 8 setup files. And I call this one Windows 8 copy profile demo. I rename the imported entry and I create the task sequence. And right click is a new sequence. Windows 8 copy prof, keep the name, client sequence template. I will select the image I added. I don't need a product key, default settings, I don't need a password, and I will continue the wizard. Now I will edit this wizard. First I will go in and enable Windows Update so that my update or my image is updated as part of the deployment process. And then to get the copy profile thing to work I need to go to the OS Info tab and I need to edit the unattend XML file. The first time you click this one MDT will generate a catalog file for this image and that takes a while. And again, due to the magic of video recording, I have cut away the time-consuming pieces. The catalog file is now generated and it's opened up automatically in Image Manager. The trick to get copy profile working is that you do this in the Anaten file that is used to deploy the image, not the one that you use to sysprep and capture. I go to the specialized phase Shell Setup and Enable Copy Profile. Save the file and close Image Manager. That's it. I have added the image, I have enabled the Copy Profile and now I can deploy it. When deploying this image, the administrator profile that I customized will be automatically copied to the default user profile on the new deployment. Let's go ahead and deploy this image. I will go to another VM. I will jump to a clean snapshot. And I will start it. I will log in. I will select my copy profile demo, give it a name, select maybe an application or two, and then deployment starts. Deployment is completed. Let's log in and verify. I'm logging in as a normal user. You can see that the customization followed. And if I go to my desktop, it still feels like Christmas. If I open up the Windows Setup log file that is copied to the server,
you can see that it did copy the copy profile during the specialized pass. Thank you for watching this video. If you want additional resources like videos, articles and more, feel free to check out my blog deploymentresearch.com or my YouTube channel Deployment Artist. You can also find commercial trainings, videos and books on the deploymentartist.com website.